Hello everyone, I'm quickly going to show you around our kitchen and talk through what works best to us, or best for us rather, at the moment. So I always start from the left when I'm decluttering, move to the right and I go top to bottom. So we will go through uh, the kitchen, but I'm going to focus on each section one at a time. So above our fridge, I never have to really do anything in this cupboard, um, but this is where we store all our baking trays and our uh, breadboards, muffin tins, all those different things. So they live above the fridge. The good thing about that is this cupboard was really unusable before that because it's really high. But because breadboards are wide, I can reach all of them and grab them out. So instead of having things up here that I can never reach or I need a stool for, it was one way for me to solve that. So that is our first cupboard. Next, we have our bread tin, and it is here because our toaster lives here and is on all the time now. So we can easily grab our bread from there, put the toaster on, cook the bread, and um, go about our day with very little that we need to move around. We have our lunch boxes over here, a spare bowl for the Thermomix because the Thermomix lives underneath it, and then cookbooks that have fallen over by the looks of it, and a thermo server in there. In this cupboard, I have our drink bottles, things like our Yeti cups, smoothie cups. These are just wine bottle holders from Kmart and then some extra sports bottles over there, water bottles for the boys. I have my Luxie cups, mugs and smoothie cups there and then our cake stands and some extra Luxie and Yeti bits and pieces up the top in that container. So uh, easy to grab right by the lunch boxes. And when we're heading out, we just grab our water bottles. This is our coffee and tea drawer. You've probably seen it before. It's one of my favorite drawers in the house. Tim built this and uh, yeah, I just love that. It's so easy to grab whatever we need. And it's a wonderful way to start or end your day when you have a drawer that brings you so much joy. Underneath that, we have now got our board games in here. Since removing the lounge unit, these board games needed to live somewhere else. And we have the space in here. So we have board games there and then VR and um, PlayStation games, table tennis, all bits and pieces for the boys in there. So uh, this cupboard is does not belong to the kitchen anymore. Our theatre backs onto it. And so the PlayStation and all the sound equipment lives in there and it has airflow through there and an air vent all sorted. So that's never used uh, for the kitchen, which meant that the board games, this section here, is all really non-kitchen related bar our coffee and tea drawer there, but it works really well for us. In here, I showed you the pantry yesterday, um, but that is the pantry. And then along this wall, we have our glasses, although a number of them are in the dishwasher right now. We have our glasses in here, nice and easy to grab. And then these bottom drawers, firstly, uh, dinner plates and bowls, platters for the most part in here, and then more of our baking dishes and bits and pieces in this bottom drawer. It's a little bit like Tetris, but I find it really enjoyable to figure out the best way that things sit together. You might remember these dishes lived in that drawer. And then when we moved the lounge unit out, I had to find a new spot for them. So this is now where they live and it works well. All right, then across to this side, our fruit bowl and essential oils. And then above that, this is my makeup and the turntable that has like my oil and my essential oil perfume and sunscreens, bits and pieces there. So I actually get ready every day here because there's a mirror there. And so as the boys are getting ready for school, I grab that makeup bag down. This is all the makeup that I own. And um, I pop it on this bench and then I put my makeup on and pop it back. Now I've got vitamins and different pieces with my makeup. They used to live up there, but when we did the reshuffle to make everything fit, we moved them over here. And then we have arts and craft paint and the boys art books and photo books up there because there's room for them in here and it just works. So nothing in this cupboard is kitchen related and nothing in that bottom section except the tea and coffee drawer is kitchen related. So that section and that whole section doesn't have anything to the kitchen, just these and those there. And I love that we have found what works best for us for now. This is our baking drawer. It's probably the happiest drawer in the house. 
it's just happy because of all the colors and the sprinkles and bits and pieces in there and then we have our spices and things like cling wrap and baking paper salt peppers and then in the bottom we have our pots and pans and our frying pan and as you can see i asked in the live video today about good frying pans that one is just a cheap one um, but we've invested a bit of money in a few frying pans and never found one that cleans well in a dishwasher we want a dishwasher friendly fry pan um, but we have not found one just yet all right and then on this side of the kitchen this is where the sink is we have this little bit of storage i actually went through and tidied these this morning it's one of the areas i did wipe out and clean so we have our cutlery i love to find a cutlery set that i love utensils these are from kmart and it just means they just lift out so like that um, it just means that it separates things a little bit so that we don't have everything thrown on top of each other and then tea towels and the bottom drawer we call our party drawer so any leftover serviettes cups those sorts of things we put in here and I have essential oils and wax melts and incense all different things in that bottom drawer there all right this cupboard is just recycling I need a new sticker for that and our rubbish and then in this drawer i have my dishwashing tablets because the dishwasher is right here and even though this jar um, comes with a lid it would be very annoying every day to have to take the the um, lid off so i just leave the lid at the back there but it's always open so you can just put your hand in there it's the little things that make a difference uh, we have our toaster and um, this that we use for making pancakes a couple of extra hand washes there because when our hand wash runs out then we're ready to go and our spray bottle and then that is our dishwasher there so that is our whole kitchen everything that lives in our kitchen and the systems that are working best for us at the moment. I hope that helps.